like that. Girls trying to fuck you. Like I said, it wouldn't be shit without some of these big places. A lot been going on, but we landed, and I'm gonna uh, keep it moving. Welcome to this podcast. Bring my phone, are you coming? And bring two bottles of water. And the laptop. What is the password to this thing? Your cell phone password. Oh yeah, duh. What did you put? Your birthday. <laughs> I was thinking pin numbers. I'll never make no password on my birthday. My birthday too easy to remember. It's only one number you gotta know.
Is it not straight? Why is it like look at the bottom of the table? Is it lined up with the bottom of the camera? Look at the screen on the phone. Look at the, is the bottom of the black table. Is this part of the table lined even with the bottom of the screen? No. Right. Is that straight? See what I'm saying? Like is this even? So I'm saying that's how I do it. That's how I know. It's not going to be perfect, but just asking if it was close. <laughs> right. I won't touch this thing anymore. Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. Hopefully y'all can hear me. If you can't, well, too fucking bad. Can I hit see the speaker? Just toss it next time. She gotta be on the camera, y'all see? Y'all see? Y'all see how she is, right? She's how she is, eh? Look, they already cut it off for copyright. <laughs> that bitch. My fucking speaker is dead, folks. I did not prepare for this podcast. But, um, yeah. What's been going on in the world? I was just looking. And I see one thing that says return of spanking in Missouri school district. The return of spanking in the Missouri school district. <laughs> Let's see. You. Let's see what type of population they deal with. Damn, 6.4 million people? That's a lot of fucking people. In Missouri? Why does it say that? Am I tripping? I can see that. I can see that. That's a lot of fucking people. I'm, I'm sure it's a lot of them kids need to ask for. Out of 6.4 million? Well, this is in Cassville, Missouri. Cassville. That's a small town? Uh, That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. How you spell that? C-A-S-S-V-I-L. C-A-S-S. Ville. What is that? Oh, it's only 3,000 people. <laughs> Shout out to Cassville. It's funny because corporate punishment, corporal punishment begins with a C. <laughs> and it's like C Assville. <laughs> they gonna whoop your ass in Cassville. Uh uh. They brought it back though. They brought it to schools, right? Yeah, it says one. So I used to get paddled. 
I used to get paddled. Predominantly paddle. white school you district. I used to get paddled in preschool. That's crazy. They'll whoop you for, uh, like my, my mom said the other day, they'll whoop you for crying when your parents leave. Uh uh. Like they're supposed to make you stop crying. This is why we cry. <laughs> Why would they whoop you for crying? Well, give you something to cry about. <laughs> it's something about black, school, like schools with a lot of black older women in them, to where they they feel like. Well, I guess it's like that's not what you should be crying about, and also it's like you're gonna have to get over it. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know the logic. The logic is like. What Carlos Miller said about black kids just supposed to know better out the box. Mm -mm. We like it's like we almost supposed to be born just like tough. We're not supposed to cry when our parents leave. It's like because they like it's not out of hate or nothing. It's like the world don't give a fuck about you. Ain't nobody else gonna let you have these emotions. So I'm gonna beat it out of you first. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be this soft to where I can't even go to work. Jeez. At that young though. That's crazy. You're too young. To, you're too old at that age <laughs> to be crying. Like, did not see that with my kids. I don't let her even. I don't like when she get mad like that. Like when she start crying and shit. And I've been feeling like, when I feel like it's about nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, I don't know how to deal with it. Cause then I don't want to do to her what it was done to me. But it's like, yeah, I almost feel how they felt when it was like. So you saying? White kids are getting their ass whoops now. They ass whoops. Heads up behind you. Yep, it says Heads predominantly up white you. school district. Heads up behind you. You the main one that don't like these um <laughs> these um bugs. We saw a, a black bear yesterday. A baby bear at that. We saw a black bear yesterday. That was crazy. In the backyard. That'll really get the pod going if I, if I get eaten by a bear. If I'm just sitting here potting. You know me come around? So just, shoo, shoo. <laughs> <sighs> People will subscribe like shit. Tuning into that. Get them views up. <laughs> See that? Replay. Uh -uh. Yeah, man. So, hold on. This is the thing about statistics that involve race. Mm -hmm. How are y'all getting these statistics, man? And then why is it? Why are you involving it? Why is it? Why is it available? Mm. <laughs> why is that information provided? <laughs> Predominantly white school. So we all supposed to be like, <gasps> no. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> All these comedians for years been telling black white people to whoop their kids, and now they finally listen. In the schools, though, because white parents don't raise their kids at home. Reinstated as a last resort for disciplining students. <laughs> what happened? It had, something had to happen. It had to be a student that did something so egregious that they wanted to whoop him, but it wasn't implemented at the time. So it was like, we need to bring this back for just for his ass. <laughs> you think I'd have been the one? Bring back the whoopings at my school? Maybe. I think I could have brought it back. Now every generation of kids hate me now because mm -mm. I'm the reason. I'm the last straw that broke the camel's back. The dean is sick of me. I'm not proud of getting kicked out of school and being like a menace in the school. I was proud of it back then. Right now I'm not proud of it because damn I had free rent, bro, and I was making jokes. <laughs> I had enough. I really had like my parents said that was my only job was school, but I felt like that was just like a cop out. But um, shout out to everybody viewing this podcast right now. If you're viewing this podcast on YouTube, shout out to you. Please hit that subscribe button. If you're on Spotify, please hit that subscribe button. Follow the podcast on any other platform. Do the same. Write a review. Put some stars down. Rondo Show Podcast. We've been all hiatus for three months. What'd you say? Three months? Feels like six. Three months. That's that Donnell Rollins shit. So it doesn't say why it came back. It just says that 
it's, I know it's not gonna say that. I'm just I'm this was this was me philosophizing. Oh yeah. And just getting off get my jokes off. It is allowed in nineteen states. What's the states? It it doesn't say, it just says uh mostly uh, Google says. Let's look at it. Okay. States where schools are allowed to be is can you check on that child? I don't know what's going on with her. She's just screaming. Yeah. Ignore it? Yeah, I was trying to put her to bed and she's refusing. Okay. Jordan went down fine. Yeah. So yeah, let's see. We got Alabama, mm. of course. Arkansas. I can see it. Arizona. That's a little odd to me. Colorado. Wow. That's very odd. Florida. Mm. Uh oh, Atlanta? What's that? What's that? I ain't say Georgia? <laughs> How'd I feel? How you feel about Georgia? Make sense? A little, yeah. Georgia and Alabama to me, all the southern places. Yeah. Indiana, Idaho, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Missouri, Mississippi, all the south. They gonna whoop your ass in school. I guess I don't know much about Idaho, but I feel like they wouldn't do it. But they're right there next to Colorado. Nah. Any place where it's a lot of farmland and shit, they'll beat your ass, bro. <laughs> and they'll shoot you. Jesus. Like out here. Yeah. How's it feel to not be in California anymore? Sucks. I mean, oh. a little. It's my hometown. Born and raised. Mostly. That's what everybody say in California. Mostly. I don't know. I hate that I didn't get to stay long enough. I feel like I didn't stay long enough. Yeah. Even though I'm not, it's not like I regret leaving. <laughs> I take it back. I definitely miss California. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got to California and I was just like flying. I was like, wow, like bugs don't even mess with you out here. Like, yeah. what is going on? We hate good weather out here because bugs mess with you. Like, good weather comes with bullshit. <laughs> California, of course, y'all get good weather and no bugs. Yeah, not right now, though. They're in a very bad heat advisory. But yeah, what's but, going on in California? I don't know. They said from the beach to the mountains, it's just supposed to be triple digits, like nonstop fire weather. Crazy. <laughs> Wasn't last winter very cold out there? Compared to how it usually is? I think apparently. so. They were saying like 60 50. I think so. I don't know, man. This weather, man. I can't judge it no more. Mm. I don't even try to. <laughs> and I watch everybody try to, and everybody's wrong. Mm. Or they're right, and it's just bad weather. <laughs> Some weather I don't want you to be right about. <laughs> <sighs> yep, 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 yep. Rondo Show Podcast. Um... On the KKM Media Company channel on YouTube.
That was a lat. That was a lat. That was a chunky thing. That's a chunky statement. Is that chunky? No. Should I trim it up? <laughs> trim it up. No. It's already hard enough, like having your uh, what you gonna call it? Your motherfucking um, what do they call it? Your acronym close to the KKK. <laughs> I'm trying to take it back, though, people. I'm trying to take it back. Mm -mm. KKN Media, come on, fuck with me. It says network. N stands for network. K is kid creative. Come on. Uh -uh. It ain't Ku Klux Network. Ku Klux Network. It's okay though. They'll get it. Um. No. Um. I appreciate everybody for viewing the streams. I suck at video games, like I said, but I'm working on uh, getting some uh, gamers, you know, on my you know, roster to where we can have like a schedule and certain games we play, certain days of the week, yada, yada, yada. Tournaments, money, prizes, shit like that. I would love to cash out my subscribers some funny Marco ness but I mean not there yet. Um and yeah. What the fuck was that? An mm -hmm. acorn? Probably. Yeah, it's hell and nuts. Mm -mm. Hallelujah, it's hell and nuts. That never happened to you in California. Nuts have never fallen upon your head randomly. Nope. Nope. A squirrel ain't never dropped their nuts on your head? No. You ain't lived until a squirrel dropped his nuts on your head. It's a beautiful feeling. It's a beautiful feeling. To know you are one with nature to the point where a squirrel is willing to drop their nuts on your head. That means where you live, nature lived there too. It hasn't been so civilized that nature don't even think to live there no more. I, saw, I, I don't see a whole lot of squirrels in San Diego. I see squirrels in downtown, not where I was at. I mean, it's just rare. I see them more up in like... Well, they're not... Well, I was going to say, where I saw them at, like I said, they, it's, it's not like... You know what I mean? It's not like how you see pigeons. Yeah. You know, and then even there, it wasn't like you see pigeons like that. You would think you would see seagulls way more. Yeah. But you don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, at least I did. Especially in the city part. Like, it's uh, it's so close to the city. Mm hmm But that's the other thing. Like, San Diego is like where the beach at, right? It's like that's the beach, yeah. right? <laughs> that's why it's like that, though. Yeah. Even the city parts are like it's not a lot of city life, if you know what I mean, like wildlife. Mhm. Mm Where were we at when we saw that coyote? That, that's Escondido. More than likely. Yeah. Hello. Hello. take these nuts? Do you take these nuts? Do you accept these nuts? That's fucked up. Was that fucked up? <laughs> was that fucked up? It was. I think he went, oh, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I know he probably didn't even hear me because he's just going on his spiel. <laughs> and that's why I hung up because I didn't want him to hear me almost because I felt bad. <laughs> What were we talking about?
of how nature in San Diego yeah. is different. Yeah, it's the beach. You know, you know, the beach don't nature don't live at the beach. <laughs> That's like beach nature, like crabs and shit. Barely yeah. that. Like you gotta go to the real beach, like not this tourist beach, to see like some shit that could kill you. There is one beach where, like, usually early in the mornings, there's seals always out. Seals? Oh, hell no. Yeah. Like, I ain't fucking with that shit. They're, they're on the beach. You could go up and touch them if you wanted to. There's Man. nothing protecting them. There's nothing stopping them from I would touch them if, if, if it was like, if it was like, I, I don't, I, I'm not going to say I wouldn't do it. <laughs> not because I'm scared. Like, I, all right. Let me say this. <laughs> Let me say this, okay? <laughs> Let me say this. I love animals. Like, I'll touch, you know, scary animals. You know, I'll hold a baby crocodile, shit like that. You know what I mean? I'll mm -hmm. fucking, I'll pet a big, real crocodile. Mm -hmm. Shit like that. Like, shit that people do on Animal Planet. I'll do it. Because no, it's cool to get the experience. For me, though, like, I'm saying, if I'm living there, I'm not going to be the dude who frequents, like, I don't walk with the seals and shit <laughs> because I'm going to be the dude who walks with the seals and gets eaten by a seal, gets <laughs> fucked up by a seal. And now he's like the dude who, who used to walk with the seals. <laughs> Remember? Every day he used to be out there with the seals every morning. Like it was nothing. It seemed like they loved him. Oh, yeah. All it takes is that one time you feed him. It's over. Mm. You show back up without nothing. They get mad. They like, hold on, brother. The terms of this relationship was food. Food for affection. Think about that. You imagine like having the power to fucking demolish something and just not doing it. Letting that thing walk up to you and pet you while you sleeping. Are you relaxing in the sun? That is kind of crazy. But that thing can walk up to you and take the selfies. Uh -uh. You could fuck them up if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gang of y'all too. Y'all just like, oh, oh, it's cool. Y'all got bombs and shit. We all right. We good. Uh -uh. But they know at this point yeah. in, in evolution that this ain't you ain't just fucking with one of us. Fuck with us if you want to. This whole beach will be sealless. Oh my god. Rebecca Ann lost a limb due to a seal. Now the beach is closed. <laughs> Been shut down the beach. Oh yeah, yay. Her father owned something. <laughs> and nigga said, Tell my daughter to grow a leg back. Nobody <laughs> going to that beach. <laughs> Fuck the beach. Go to another beach. Uh uh. Yeah, but back to my little tangent about the whole channel. Um, yeah, uh, the views look great. I appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna get better. Uh, I'm gonna step the whole thing up, man. I'm gonna start uh, talking. Uh, yeah, appreciate appreciate you too as well. <laughs> but I'm gonna actually start streaming it. You know, I'm, I'm taking steps though. I'm not trying to do too much by myself. It's not smart. You want to do something good. It's easier to do things good when you, it's less you have to do. Yeah. When there's more you have to do, it's hard to do it all to the same energy because you don't have the energy anymore. Then that's the other thing about the consistency. Like if I want to stream daily, then that means that I have to commit to that. Then that means that the days that the stream, that's just the, say that just the, uh, the lobby sucks. I can't control that. Yeah. So. Just working around that and learning that. And then like how did, how it fits in other shit I got to do. <laughs> Building the website up, doing the magazine. But still got to be a people person so that I can meet people to get help with this shit. <laughs> then that comes with bullshit because, like, the people you want or need to do this shit, they have needs. So 
so you gotta work around their needs. Yeah. And their schedules. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. I wouldn't want to do nothing else. Mm -hmm. Way better than clocking in and clocking out. Clocking in and clocking out. <laughs> that shit suck. Yeah. That shit suck if you don't love what you're doing. Like, if what you're doing don't, like, damage you, mm -hmm. it's cool. But I seem to always get jobs that fuck your brain, your head up. Like, you're going to end up toxic by the end of this. You know, you get there, and then you see the people that have been there for a while. you like, I see why they all like this. Oh, yeah. Because y'all been here too long. I think I felt like that at my old job. But you loved it. I loved working with the kids. But as far as like teachers and supervisors and everybody else goes, the majority of them suck. That be the thing about jobs, don't it? <laughs> it be the, it be everybody. It, it look if and, if and if the staff's great, it's the customers that's some shit. Yeah. <coughs> Man, no. <coughs> Man, oh man. <coughs> At least with this, I get to, uh, take off for three months. <laughs> uh -oh. No call, no show. Three months. Nobody <laughs> says nothing. <laughs> Yay. You know, yeah, you do that at a, at, a, at a nine to five, man. You come back, you fired. You ain't got no job. Mm -mm. Three months, my nigga? <laughs> what you what you did? <laughs> what you did? <laughs> I always used to hit my boss with it. My bad, bro. I didn't get that. My, my phone was off. Nigga, your phone was off. You ain't show up. <laughs> nigga ain't email nobody. Mm -mm. But with this is like three months. Oh, I guess he guess guess the job no longer exists anymore. <laughs> the position is just vanished. Okay. I did not quit my podcast. I will never quit my podcast. Nobody thought that. Nobody cares. I'm sure somebody thought that. Somebody thought I, I quit. Oh so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm just a nice person. I'm just a nice person. Sometimes. I'm just a nice person. And in being nice, you get the short end of the stick sometimes. Which causes you to give other people the short end of the stick if all you have to pull from is the short end. To divvy up a short end, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> when the ends are already short. <laughs> to shorten them more. Oh, yeah. Just to make sure everybody gets something. That's why I don't want to do sometimes with certain things. When I have the control to, I won't. So, if, with the podcast, if I got the control to not have to minimize it to the point where it's not funny anymore, then I'll just wait until... I can do it and it still be fun. I did not know this table rose to this height. I didn't realize it got bigger. I realized it got bigger, but I didn't know it got this big. That's what she said, huh? <laughs> Put them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's next on that? What's, what's going on? What else is going on? Let's see. I'm supposed to be in there. <clears throat> yeah, I'm supposed to be uh, editing the rest of these websites here. Ooh, that's so much work, though. Woo! I appreciate everybody who views the stream on KKN. 
No, on the kickcreatorsnetwork.com on the website, motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. There's that's a, how you do it. A water crisis going on in Jackson, Mississippi that's gotten so bad, the city ran out of bottled water to give to residents. How the fuck you run out of bottled water? First of all, how do you bottle... Like, how does the process of bottled water work? It's not like every state has their own... You say in a city? Jackson, it's not like every city has their own bottled water bottle system. Yeah. Is it? I don't think so. I wouldn't think so either. But well, hold on, how you run out of bottled water? First you run out of... The city doesn't have enough water to fight fires, flush toilets, or anything. Right now? The, their water treatment facility, main water treatment facility, began failing on Monday. And then they oh, so the, basically what cleans the water? Yep, it's fucked up. And then I guess they called the national Why guard. Why do have up. one? I well, I guess know. it's a city, so yeah, they called the national guard up to pass out, you know, a case of water to families. And after seven hundred cases, like a stimulus, <laughs> a just, stimulus pack of water. That's <laughs> fucked up, man. Seven hundred cases were passed out. They That's ran out and had to turn people away. That's fucked up, man. That's why I don't even know why they did that because I. They knew they didn't have enough water for everybody in the beginning. So why would you even try to do that? Mm -mm. Why would you even try to give out some water like that? Like like you have enough. Pray pray for the people in Jacksonville, man. Shout out to that. And That's fucked up. People there saying they're going to be the next Michigan. Well, yeah. I mean, did they <laughs> ever fix that fucking water? No. Exactly. I had a dream that the water got fixed. Maybe Sorry, folks, in the dream, I didn't have a plan. I didn't get the plan. <laughs> <laughs> I debated if I should even bring it up. <clears throat> but I alluded to it in a song. <clears throat> but, yeah, I had a dream that it occurred. And people was taking showers and people was, like, in the street with um, fire hydrants you know and hoses just having fun with water. their water system has been plagued with problems for on, years let's let this fucking asshole pass oh yeah you said their water system has been plagued with problems, with problems for, problems years. for years they were already under a boil your water notice since late july <laughs> <laughs> no 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 this is not something I laugh about. Okay. It's not. That's fucked up, though. Like, boil your water? Yeah. So, okay. They got me on the point where wherever I live, I need to figure out where the water f treatment facility is. Wherever I live, right? Mm -hmm. I need to figure out where the water treatment facility is. Figure out if they up to fucking code and shit. Like right. if they, if their fucking pipes is, is strong and shit, like if everything's intact. It's not like they're gonna even tell me if they're not. Yeah. But I, I would have to find that out to feel like, cause that's a hell of a crisis. That could happen in anybody. The water treatment center failed. But their shit has been plagued for years, but that's the other thing. <clears throat> that's the other thing. That is another thing about uh, just like it's like it's like the, if I, like what I was saying about the, the nine to five thing. Mm -hmm. um, like buying water over and over again. It's like not the move. Yeah. Like I knew a, a, a friend when I was younger who had a well. They had their own water. <laughs> mm. It was under the ground. And they built their house on top of it. Huh. They got a bunch of acres and shit. And it's like, they got their own water. And they just, the dude come, fill their shit up. <laughs> be out. It's literally just a fucking little pipe coming out the ground. And it's the water down there. That's 
So when they got their, bought their land, they, before they built the house, most of, a big part of that front part of their yard, it's all spaced out. Mm -hmm. Under there is like a bunch of water. They don't never have to worry about water bills, mm -hmm. water uh, being tainted and stuff like that. The dude come to check the water, make sure it's not fucked up and shit, you know, shit like that. Like, mm -hmm. you gotta be self, you gotta have your own shit at some point. Yeah. Because if you, that's what happens with systems. Systems break, man. Systems fail. You know, every time you're using the device, it's always some sort of error that is just like, I don't know, the shit is just, it's an error, nigga. Yeah. It's like error dot four oh five one dash one. You don't know what that shit means, man. And all it's doing is telling you this error occurred. It's not telling you why it happened. It's not saying we're about to fix it. It's just saying this happened. PlayStation do it all the time. It's not recording. It told me it was twenty percent, so it stopped oh. for a second. Your battery's dying. Yeah. Um Yeah. We can pause. You have any grievances? <laughs> you have any grievances with the company that you need to air out? With the company? With the no. company, yes. With the CEO of the company. The CEO, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> we back, folks. We just had to take a break. I thought I was going to get the charger. Actually, we're just going to go until the camera dies. But what was I talking about? The fucking water situation, man. Yes. You gotta get your own shit out here, man. You gotta have your own garden. You gotta, uh... Yeah, man, this is gonna be a short episode, but it, it's just... I was just trying to... Jump back in and kind of get back used to potting again. And when you take a break from it, you lose your, your, your rhythm, your momentum. You get in a groove and it's like... You can't imagine this ending, but of course somebody try, finds a fucking way and devises a, a plan to fucking ruin the cast. If you get what I'm, you, you see the devil at work as we speak. Yeah. Oh yeah, you you preach right. <laughs> so it's like you got to do what you got to do to just evolve and rise above it and figure out a way to keep growing and keep creating and keep being inspired to keep doing it. I'm always that. It's just that I don't record the podcast because it's a lot of work. That's what I don't have the energy for is and then that's the other thing to jump into something with a co-host who's going to do this bullshit Again, it's mm -hmm. like not what I'm interested in right now. And it's not even just the co-host at this point. It's like I'm almost nervous to work with anybody. Like, I don't trust nobody with the cameras right now. I don't trust nobody with the audio. I, don't tr I just feel like everybody's going to, like, try to feel like they can, like, leverage some shit. You know what I mean? And just... Instead of just having a genuine... People these days, it's all about money. Yeah. Nobody's genuine anymore. Nobody does anything because they fucking love love it. And they want to do it because this is what they fucking want to do today. You know, or what they like. Oh, yeah, you're going to keep doing that? You're going to keep shifting the... the, the, the... That, that wasn't even... Oh, yeah? I was just trying to move on. See, you did that. But you did that. You see the type of arguments we go through at this company. But, um, yeah, 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 yeah. You get it. You get it. You guys get it. You've seen it. You've heard it. If, you're listen if you listen to this podcast before we had videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sip my water. <laughs> but, yeah, plenty of times people have said grandiose things. And I've repeated myself saying that people have said that. So I don't need to keep saying it. 
But, uh, yeah, it just always comes back to that for me. Because that's another part of the story of this show. Mm -hmm. Is that I'm always doing it. No matter what. So it's like when it has a bunch of eyes or when it does have, you know, not to diss people who are listening and watching right now. Just when it's known, mm -hmm. like remember when uh, I talked to Joe Budden about my podcast, yeah, and everybody in the live was like saying the Rondo show, the Rondo show. Like when that's like normal, mm -hmm. or when that's not like an isolated event. These moments are going to be like what makes the show, you know, because yeah. it's like, damn, bro, like <laughs> you here right here. Yo, you was doing this or you doing that or you. Oh, now you pot in it, but you got this going on and you still, you know, you did one of the number one live streaming gaming channels, whatever the fuck. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> I sat here and did this shit by my fucking self with three kids in the doghouse with my wife, losing friends, losing money, gaining and, and trying to fight addictions and fucking moving back and forth from coast to coast. Meanwhile, like I said, like all trying to learn how to be a man and like not like do that shit wrong. That shit is hard, man. By yourself. Then, like I said, my I got my family problems, which I talk about on the podcast too much. My family problems, I got. Yeah, man. What else should we cover? What else do I feel like? What Danny Brown say? Spin the motherfucking wheel. California passes a bill requiring social media companies to consider children's mental health. The fuck that mean? We're about to find out. What does it mean to consider somebody? <laughs> Considering the physical and mental health of minors who use the platforms. Oh wow, physical health too. What you gonna kick people off Instagram and make them go outside? <laughs> that sounds good. Um, think carefully about something typically before making a decision. So they want, they may pass a law to make social media think carefully about something. How do you implement that? Like, how do you track that? Good question. This says require a business that provides an online service product or feature likely to be, um, assessed by children who comply with specified requirements. What are the specified requirements? Those requirements include configuring all default privacy privacy settings offered by the social media platforms. Privacy? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Can you start it over? Those requirements include configuring all default privacy settings okay. offered by the social media platform unless the platform can demonstrate a reason why its setting is suited for children and provide information about privacy information, terms and conditions, policy, and community standards. So they are like currently, or well, they were at some point, breaking the privacy of children? That's kind of what it sounds like. And now they have to configure default, bare minimum privacy policies. I'm confused. 
using clear language suited to the age of children likely to access the platform. Oh, so basically, I get what they're saying. Make it so children can't You can't, can't talk over their head. You got to, like, talk to them like they're kids. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can implement that. Because if you go in there and shit's still the same, it's like, nigga, change your shit. Did I tell you? Change the... It's like saying, change the name of the Redskins. Why y'all still the Redskins? It will prohibit these platforms from using the child's information for any purpose other than exactly. Intended. They've been selling our information. <laughs> They've been stealing our information. They've been selling our information, knowing that we don't know this jargon, knowing that we don't know what these fucking words mean in these contracts and these terms and these conditions. And we just hit agree and accept. Yeah. When you hit agree and accept with our company, we actually vetted the fucking terms and conditions. I read it. It's not no fucking scam. It, 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 it's it is it is it's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. And then we got Arthur Dale <laughs> wanting to complain every fucking day about oh why just to play a fucking game on my phone? I gotta agree to some terms and conditions. You don't got to, and you don't gotta play a game on your phone. But for some reason, we just accept. And it's like, you're not realizing when you accept, you can't take them to court about that. You sold it for free. Mm -hmm. They have a deed. Goodness. That e signature. Any platform that. See, if they was really fair, <laughs> they would give everybody they, uh, the, uh, a check for the fucking information that they sold. Because yeah. you got some sort of way to track that shit, man. Come on now. Yeah. You know what I purchased. You know you know who to hit up to find out everything you need to know to find out how to give me my money. Give me a cut of, of the deal. Because mm -hmm. you knew I signed the deal and I didn't know better. Yeah. So you abused that. And for them to say that they need to speak to children like that, they need to speak to everybody like that. Yeah. But who am I? This is the platforms that violate the rules in the bill will be fined up to 2500 per affected child for each violation and more than... I'm affected. More than 7500 per affected child for each intentional violation. And of course, social media company executives have expressed their concern over the bill, arguing that state laws regulating social media will make it more difficult for them to comply. It don't, but it do if they want it to. Yeah. <laughs> so that's basically that. So. Good. Next thing. Let's see. I do have one more thing too I could bring up. Okay. Um, is I've been watching Tag. Oh, World Chase Tag. World Chase Tag. I did not know that Tag was fucking interesting. <laughs> but I know I might be late or I might be odd. But I could watch this shit all day. You know, I think I've seen one of those videos like a long time back randomly on Facebook and thought it was just people playing around. It's like a Facebook. It's something you would see on Facebook. Yeah. And I didn't know that it was like a real thing. Like I may have heard of it. I didn't need like the way they were playing. It wasn't set up how it is on the YouTube channel. It just looked like two adults playing tag. Bro, like this <laughs> shit is serious. Athletes ready! I'm like, oh yeah, call them athletes. See, that's the this, this is, see, but this is why I never got into sports, and this is why I'm more likely. This is why I'm more likely to get into world chase tag over freaking football or basketball. Yeah, because people who watch football and basketball will shit on somebody who watches fucking tag. Because that's not a fucking sport. Yeah. So it's like, you're not, I've never been cool enough to like sports. I don't fit in with sports people. Like, they, like, 
think about it you have to have access to cable consistently to even be a avid sports fan yeah so if i can't guarantee that i can get cable every week to watch monday night this thursday night this sunday night this and just keep going i'm gonna be out the loop it's too much pressure i ain't got the money like that one two i'm always in trouble so i can't watch tv <laughs> I go to school, I'm like, nigga, I was outside last week. You know what I did outside? Niggas is like, nigga, you know what I did, nigga? I was in the house, nigga, living. I'm like, damn, you living inside? Oh my gosh. Niggas is like, yeah, that's where the girls at. At all the parties. And I was outside with nature. <laughs> in the creek. I was outside with nature. What a fool, huh? Stop. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's niggas like that who don't think to have like their own water system and then they fuck around and be fucking, that's fucked up. <laughs> uh -uh. Niggas at the house party, yeah. Just I just don't like being insensitive when it comes to like some shit. Cause anything can happen to anybody. It can yeah. easily be us. But I'm also of the of the other mind where it's like it's not. So I gotta exist too. It's like if if it's a flood somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. When I'm supposed to sit here and act like I'm drowning, if it's dry right here. No, I'ma walk, nigga, I'ma breathe. <laughs> I'ma live like I'm not drowning. Cause I'm not mm -hmm. drowning. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's fucked up, if you think about it. But <laughs> you know Patrice O'Neill has that uh that joke about it, about not caring about shit that you know he's supposed to care about as a as a as a person. Mm -hmm. He can't find it in him sometimes to care about certain things because it's just not in a place that relates to him. It's going on in a place of the world that doesn't affect him yeah. in his mind. He wasn't bragging about it, but he was more so saying like he wasn't saying it was just him. He was saying it's us. Yeah, showing the mirror to how like everybody's kind of fucked up. And it's like we're gluttons for like tragedy and like trauma. Like we like hearing about other people's pain, not ours. We like scrolling through feeds and just reading stories about what happens to people. <laughs> but don't let the fucking headline come up and it's our street, our city, our name. We will freak out. Am I right? Yes. Okay. So. With my podcast, sometimes I like to dip my toe in to show that it's a lake of fire and some niggas is swimming in it. So mm -hmm. that says a lot about them. 10%. Mm -hmm. oh, we're almost out of here, folks. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. If you watched this whole episode, um, I thank you. For uh, research department for all the help today. Uh, watch more videos. You know what I mean from our YouTube channel, uh, Kid Creatives content. Um, just my random thoughts. I gotta get back on that. I'm about to start putting those episodes back out. So don't worry. All the shows at this company kind of took a break except for the live stream gaming because it's easier to stream gaming because I play video games to decompress and to cope with stress. So when I do that, when I'm playing, I'm streaming. When I'm streaming, I'm playing. So fuck with me on that too. Um, Zoomcast, go watch that. That's me and SRP. It's a Patreon only show, but we put a few episodes on YouTube. Um, yeah, man. Show podcast episode. Uh, I didn't even introduce the episode properly. Uh, episode 93. 93. Uh, finally, <laughs> we made it. We moved, man. There's a lot been going on. But we landed, and I'm gonna uh, keep it moving. Thank you for watching.